Hi guys, welcome back. I am gonna jump in and do some journaling today. Well, no actual journaling, you know how we do. We stick all of the things in and then we have I have to do the writing off camera because it would be very hideously boring for you guys to watch me do the writing, I think. Um, because I would be very silent and it takes me four flippin' ever sometimes to do the writing. Ah, it can be so long. Um, and that is the part I definitely find the hardest. And I have recently discovered within myself that it is hardest when I get behind because I just don't feel like going back and writing often about days gone by, you know, the, the past so much. I am much more motivated when it's been like just the day before or maybe even two days before getting past that and I'm kind of... I can't really be bothered. <laughs> is that terrible? Yes, it is. Um, I should I should just be so excited to document my days, whether or not they're recent or, or further ago, but I'm not. And I said to myself, Lydia, you must keep up with your journaling in May because you're finding it so tedious having to go back and back journal. Have I? No. <laughs> No, that's what today's video is about, is about the fact that I have not been keeping up with my writing at all, and I haven't even been keeping up very well with sticking things in. So, that is, I mean, I've got some days done-ish, done-ish um, in my journal, not written, but done-ish, you know, Um and then a, a few that aren't even begun. So here we are. We're going to get on to decorating, at the very least decorating, those days that I have not got anything on. So that will be good. That's good. You know, we'll make a little start on that journaling. And then in my free time, perhaps tonight or, I don't know, this afternoon, um, I can maybe do a little bit of writing would also be good. And I think I've got to give myself a little bit more grace uh, at the moment to just write less. I think that I am always really wanting myself to like write screeds and screeds and write all the details because I love all of those details. When I read back, it's the more detailed days that I really treasure reading back on more. And that's why I want to, but I'm finding it really hard to do. So let's have a look at where we are at. So this was the 7th. Today, for context, is the 17th that I'm filming this. Um, so that's the 7th. The 8th is done. That's where we're up to, the, the 9th. Mm. Mm. Getting behind. Uh, so it's decorated. You can see that I've got things sort of stuck in on this page, and it's very interactive and fun. And I've done this tiny bit of writing of who the people are in this old photo. Um, but it's not done. Not done. 10th, Freya's birthday. Things are decorated. It's not done. 11th is not done. To, to be real with you, nothing is done from the 9th. So the fact that I keep telling you this is not done, it's it should be clear. Um, so that's we've got that far on the 11th. Here's the 12th. Uh, I think I wanted to tip this in maybe. This was part of my capsule. So I think I thought that the colours kind of worked with the greens here. So I could maybe work that in. So that was Sunday the 12th. Here is um, Monday. I've got like just a few bits already there that I wanted to add in. Just got a nice fresh coffee here. And I'm going to try and remember to drink as we go. So that was the 13th. I don't know that any, I don't know that I've got anything else to add for the Monday. Um, as far as pictures, most of these are from yesterday and today. Um, that needed to be just trimmed a little more. So actually, wait on. Mm. Yep, okay, so the 14th. I have a feeling these pictures go on the 14th. I'm going to have to just like double check what day the 14th was. Where's my, here we go, we can use my plan. Oh no, wait, this is the book I actually want. A little notes book here. So, oh, it might not have been the 14th. It might have been the 15th. 
This might have gone on the 15th, actually. So that goes there. That was Freya's little whore first ever little horse ride. How cute is she? I mean, she's sat on my sister's horse before, but this was like her first like little, she went horse riding. They, they paid to do a little lesson um, and she got to ride on this little pony. Oh, she's so sweet. So that was very exciting for her. So that's that day. This day was yesterday. And a lot of this, this was actually, this little one here was also this day. This one here is the video that is has gone up for this morning. So that goes that day. But the rest of this is all in here. Man, I've got a lot to stick down there. Um, I've also recently been not been the best at keeping up on my note taking, you'll notice. Uh, which is not really new. It's been a while of not being the best at note taking. Uh, I have on occasion been trying to take notes in the evening when I think about it and on my phone. So I've got a couple of days written down on my phone. Like when I'm sitting in bed in the evening and I'm kind of waiting for James to come to bed so that we can do our little evening routine. We like to do our little Bible reading together and then we like to write, we've got a notebook and we write down um, someone we want to pray for and something that we're really grateful for grateful for from the day and then we do wordle and quirtle together in bed so that's our like little night routine that we like to do together so while I've been waiting for him sometimes I've been either reading playing on my switch or trying to remember to take some notes on my phone about the day so I have got a few days there that um I want I have got notes about so that is helpful let me just check actually so sorry going on my phone while I'm filming for you guys I just wanted to see what days I took notes so it was yesterday I took notes on my phone on the 12th, I took notes on my phone. Did I another day as well? Um, no, I think it was just the 16th and the 12th. So that's not not a huge amount, but it, at least I've got two days. I am just scrolling through to see if there was anything else. I think it's just those two days, but that's good. That's better than, well, I say it's good. It's not good. It's pretty bad, but it's better than nothing. So we're going to flip back over here. This was the 13th. Gosh, I've got I've got nothing. No notes in my head about the 13th, really. Let's have a look and see if I did actually write anything down on the 13th. Oh, I got a few things written down in the morning. Um, yep, just a couple of things there. So only until about midday. So I don't actually have a lot to say on this day because I don't remember what happened. But I remember I wrote a letter to my friend and I used this note paper. So I thought I could glue another piece of this in as my writing space. Uh, I was making this banner thing because a friend of mine, another friend of mine is leaving and our church is making these like banner things. Um, so I had been working on mine and this was some of the paper I'd used and I had this spear piece and I thought I could maybe make this like somehow I could maybe make like a pockety thing or something. I don't know, but I wanted to add this paper in as for like a writing space on the page. I think I'm going to center it on the page. And then I'm going to make like a pocket tuck spot over here. Um, we'll add this in maybe up here somewhere. I also just had this floating on my desk and I thought it kind of looked sort of fun, layered over the top, just as like interest. Or maybe I could put it over here. No, I like it on here. My... I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it, but I've got these things. Maybe I'll put this on, lay it onto here. I don't know exactly what I'm doing with this page, but these are some of the bits that I have. I also wondered about maybe doing it, um, like I could do it maybe like that, and then have the tuck being like up, and then this could sit on top of it because it kind of blends in. Um, I thought about maybe layering some bits like this. Just adding some layers, some interestingness. Uh, and then I would probably want to back this with something else. I've got no other photos, I don't think, from this day. I'm just going to check on my phone. I'm pretty sure I don't. I'm pretty sure that is everything I wanted from this day. Oh, I'm looking on my phone and I can see that I also made this on this day. So I could add this in to my page because I don't actually have any other specific place for it so this might actually be the thing that gets tucked in the pocket that could work okay okay liking that idea so I want to put something down in the background I don't have any notes like I really just don't have very many notes so I know from that that 
probably just the one page of writing will be more than enough. I don't need a whole lot of space. So, okay, we're pulling things together. We're figuring things out. And if I need more writing space, the whole back of this is free that I can tuck in the pocket and I can write on. So that is, we're making some progress here and just in my head, even if not on paper. Having a bit more coffee. I always make a fresh coffee right before I start filming and then it's cold by the time I actually drink it because I don't remember to drink it as I'm going, which is ridiculous. Um, I'm trying to think of what paper I would like to pop in the background um, behind it because I just think I don't like this text that much. Like if this is my pocket, I don't really like all of this. I'd like something prettier in behind, I think. Um which I'll need to put down before I add my little pocket. I mean, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's just book page, right? It's not that bad. But And especially if I'm going to have this just tucked in the pocket. So this is going to just go in like this. It's going to cover a lot of it. And my book's getting bulky. So maybe I'm going to leave it. I don't know. My book is just, I'm really finding, like, we're only here at, we're only here at the 13th, not mid-month. I don't know if you can see, but this is how it's already starting to bulk out. It's getting quite bulky and big and we're not halfway through. And this is a hardback, so it doesn't, it's going to end up quite hard to work in. So I'm feeling a little concerned about that. So maybe, maybe we just say it's going to be book page, just as it is. Maybe I could um, smear a bit of paint on there or some ink or something I'm concerned if I oh that's actually backed so I don't think it would soak through so maybe I could just add a little bit of something but I know if I do that it's going to take forever to dry so I might do that off camera once we or at the end I'll just maybe put a little bit of something on here um so it has time to dry oh I kind of want to do it now so that it's just done and I can know what it will look like or I could I'm just seeing this book page. This could be just like something I could layer in back here. Be pretty. It's quite thin. No, I think I'm going to go with paint or like ink. Kind of. What does this look like with this? No, that could be a bit much. Uh, what, what would I want to use? I want something that's like really quick to dry because I don't want to spend all day waiting for this to dry. I only need to do it, so if I lay this down here, where I want it, uh, it only needs to be really in that spot. What's some really quick, maybe even just like some Distress Oxides over the top. I have one sitting here that could actually work. It's a nice colour. Maybe if I just sort of do a bit of that. This will probably not take that long to dry, I don't think. I'm just going to smear it across the page as well so that we have a little bit of cohesiveness like that. And I think that will actually just break it up enough. I'm going to just rub a bit on this edge too because my writing paper doesn't go the whole way across. Uh, so if we just sort of, I don't know, just give it a bit of something to look at. And that probably won't take ages. I'm fingers crossed this is not going to take ages to dry. I've got quite a lot in this area. Maybe I'll just sort of do a bit of blotting onto this paper towel so that we're not just quite as dry, uh, wet. Sorry, not quite as wet. I'm trying to rub the parts off that's on my paper towel into this like little spine seam binding whatever that area. Okay, that I think that's good. I think that's good. That'll give me something to work with. It's not quite just so book pagey, you know? It's got a little bit more interest there now. Um, and we're gonna put this up here. I am gonna cut see, can you tell it's got like this weird like little cut out of it there? So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and sort of cut as straight as I can without measuring or rolling or anything that is going to be fine and that is going to be my new top part so we're going to glue that on I'm just going to use some tacky glue on here I think and then I'll trim off I'm not even in frame am I there we go that's probably better it just feels quite far from me at the moment um I need my oh dear my pin is gone I normally have it like shoved into this bit of wood that's beside me because I have a wooden like frame 
that my husband made me. Oh, it's here. It's just fallen down. Um, he made this wooden frame that I have that I have my iPad sitting on so I can film. Oh, that is really stuck. Oh my gosh. Oh my word. That is really stuck. What is in there? Surely that can't be just glue. That feels like so stuck. Let's see if we can go in from this side and push it through if I can see. The glue's all... Oh, look. It's a little bit coming out. Why is that so stuck? bizarre. Wipe that on that paper towel that we've got there. It's like a really big chunk of glue in there. Sorry guys, sorry while well, I'm trying to... How boring for you guys for me to be just sitting here trying to unclog my glue. I just really want my tacky glue for this. It's really really hard. It is, this is unbelievable. I have never ever had such a problem unclogging my tacky glue before. It is like really stuck. Ugh. It's going down. The pin is going down. It's just going very slow. Oh, 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 oh. We're making some, some progress. I can feel it. There we go. It's through. Still feels like really tight in there though. I'm not sure quite what's happening. There we go. A little blob of glue, like dried up glue came out then. That feels so much better. Thank goodness we've got that sorted. Now, what way does this go on? Like this, I think. Hopefully this will now work. Let's see if we can get this going. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. It's really still very tight and hard to get out. I do think my bottle's a little bit low on glue, so I could probably fill it up and it would be better. But that is still quite a squeeze that I've got to do to get this glue to come out, which is a little annoying, but it's fine. Um, that was probably a little far, but that's okay. I'm just going to cut off any extra length. There we go. So we've got our pocket on, finally. Oh, we're not, not entirely. Let's see if we have to just hold that a bit. It doesn't feel like it's taking as well. Might be because this is a little wet that it's trying to stick on. I don't know. Might just need to give it a wee second to grab. I'm going to put the lid back on so that we hopefully don't have a repeat of that glue. I, it might also be because this is broken. My little thing is broken. And if I don't get it like sitting in the right spot, it's still probably just getting completely exposed to air. So it's a bit hard. I need to get a new, new little glue bottle sometime soon. Like I'm getting that pink rub off on my hands everywhere. But that is holding better now. And we'll just cut off that little extra triangle there. That's looking good. Okay, we've got our little pocket. That is super, super, like, wet still. If I do that, it's going to be all pink on my hand. I can see that. Can you see the pink all over my hands? Probably you can. Um, but I'm just going to keep doing that just to try and, like, dry it a little bit. Because it's just taking its time. It's, I mean, it's fine. It's not taking that long. Uh, now I need to wash my hands though, because now I've got pink all on my hands and everything I touch is going to be pink. Here we go. Here's some wet wipes. Goodness me. Okay. Okay, let's keep cracking into it because otherwise this video is going to be an hour long and I'm going to hardly, have, I'm going to have just put some pink in a pocket on a page and it will have taken me a full hour. So let's keep rolling let's get this part stuck on i think this is gonna look very cute actually so cute not very autumn which it is here in new zealand it's autumn at the moment but it's gonna look cute okay i think i just want glue stick for this glue stick is all it needs i think um i'm probably getting pink smudged onto the front of this that's fine if it is it is i'm not too fussed about that Okay, there we go. Now let's get this stuck on. Actually, there's not, oh, there's a little bit of pink on here, but it's not very bad. Now how it needs to be right from top to bottom. It's just about the exact same length as the book page. Oh, that's not sticking in those, some of those edges. Let's 
see if we can get a bit more glue on the in there. Let's see if that will stick. That's better. Those edges, I really didn't get them glued well, did I? They are just peeling right up. But I think this looks cute. And yeah, I used this writing paper when I was writing a little letter to a friend of mine. So I thought I would use another piece in here and that helped me tell my story of the day. There we go. That's that page. No, it isn't. This is going to get tucked in here like that. So that's great. These are using the printables from Emily Jean and Illustrated Faith. Um, I am one of her like creative team members for Emily Jean and um, yeah, so I'm using using the beautiful printables. And then this is going to just get stuck, I think, onto this pocket. It just matches really well because obviously it was this paper. This is just a photo of it. Uh, I'm thinking about actually just running a little bit of glue just on the bottom here. I kind of feel like I want to turn this into a pocket, you know, right the way around. Like that. There we go. And that will probably be enough. I probably want to put a little date number. This was the 13th, I think. Pretty sure this was the 13th. So I need to find a 13. I need to find where I've actually put my date numbers because they're rolled up in their little in their little file roll thing and I'm not sure where I've popped them. Hmm, we might not be doing date numbers together because I can't see it. I don't know what I've done with it. This is the story of my flipping life. I I don't have good a good ability to put things away. So um they end up everywhere and cannot be found. Also though, also, to be fair, um, my husband came in my craft room and I hate that. Not because there's anything private in here, there's absolutely not, but he just moves things and I don't know where they are anymore because he comes in here and looks for something he wants and I've got stuff all over my desk and then he moves everything. And that is the bane of my existence when he does this. No, it's not. I mean, that's really not anything that bad in reality, but it is a bit annoying because now uh, there's been a few things that I've come in here today and I've been like, where is that? That was just on my desk and it's not here anymore. And I think it's him. He told me last night, oh, I was in your craft room looking for something. And I was like, what? He was like, Lydia, I'm allowed to go into rooms in our house. And I'm like, yeah, you are allowed. It's not that you're not allowed. But you move things and then I can't find them. And he laughed at me because he knows it's true. Um, the one other thing I need to do on here is I need to add a punch because I can't find my little roll of date numbers. They are hiding somewhere. I'll find them, but we're not going to spend 45 minutes looking for it right now. Um, but the other thing I need is a punch because uh, I'm doing Alison from AJ's Inspired Life, her challenge. Uh, and this month's challenge is using a punch on every day. So I need to figure out what punch I want to use. I do not have many options. Uh, I've got a regular hole punch. I've got a little star. I've got this little like border tulip hearts punch. Uh, I've got this circle punch. And then somewhere, oh, I've got a corner rounder punch. And then somewhere I've got a really huge one that's a big ampersand. Oh, it's here. It's beside me. This really great big ampersand punch. <sighs> Which I don't know how to use. I bought it because it was like a dollar or two or three dollars or something. And it was a great big Fiskars punch. And it was like on clearance. And I bought it. And I just don't use it. I just don't use it. It's huge. And inconvenient and what what how often do I need an ampersand punched out not that often I don't know I'm just looking at this and thinking do I want to punch a big ampersand out of it I don't know I don't really want an ampersand punched out for this page I don't think I need that um so what punch do I want to do what would work here You know what, I'm going to try something fiddly and probably annoying, but I'm going to try and see if I can, like, 
oh this book page doesn't like it at all but we're, we're committed now I'm just going down and like doing a little edge I don't love it but it's done well it's half done um and we're just gonna punch some half circles out of the side at kind of random spacing similar-ish um and just make sort of an interesting border for ourselves. That's that's the plan here. We're just making something different. Trying out, and I think this was the whole intention of Alison's challenge, is just to get you using supplies and thinking about supplies a little bit differently and how can you use them to make something. I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. Um, It's just... oh getting a bit jammed now I think it's getting really full is the problem so yeah look at that I always save these because this is beautiful to me <laughs> this is ridiculous to save I am aware but I love laminating them and making like confetti paper it's it's so much fun so I'm going to save it I'm going to just pop it into this little vessel beside me um and then we'll keep going oh upside down Oh, why is it so jammy? Hopefully that'll fix it. Just, you know, give it a bit of a smack. Nope, it didn't. Oh, well. We'll do just one more there. I don't know. It's kind of a weird page edge, but we're trying out something. We're doing something new. It's not bad. Like I said, it's not bad. It's perfectly fine. It's just something different. Okay, next page. We're moving on. We're moving on. Let's see what we want to do. I did not put my pin back. I would never have found that again. So that just gets jammed up in the little hole in my stand so that I always know where it is. A little more coffee. Let's go. 14th. What did the 14th? I got this beautiful postcard this day from Jen Hall, which was lovely. Um, so I will add this somewhere into my page. We I posted the April... Can you hear that beautiful bird outside? It sounded lovely. Um, I posted the second part of my April journal flip through. So I know this was Tuesday because that is the day I post YouTube videos. I post them on Tuesdays, Fridays and Sundays here in New Zealand. So I am pretty sure that one was the Tuesday. I'm just having a quick look in here. That's right. We had a games night. Uh, we played pandemic rising tide with my family with my sister and my dad that was really nice uh, and I filmed for patreon and I paid my power bill that's what I've got in my Hobonichi I don't this is not a memory keeping thing this is like my to-do list and but but my to-do list can sometimes remind me of some things that I did so let's see did I write anything in here um I'm going to try and have a good day <laughs> I've been having a lot of bad days recently. We've not been doing so well on the grieving front. I've been struggling a lot and that is not letting up. The anxiety is pretty horrible at the moment. So, um, just, it's all part of grieving, right? It's just, it's, it's not a fun part. I mean, no part of grieving is fun, but grieving is really non-linear, I'm finding. I am fine. I mean, I knew it already. I, this is not my first rodeo, but oh, you just think you're doing okay. And then all of a sudden you're really not. You're really not. And that is hard work. So I filmed, I filmed this day. Was this also the day? Now, one day recently I did. No, that was the day after. What did I film for Patreon? I don't even remember what I was doing. Gosh, it's only been two days, three days. Um, what did I film for Patreon? Patrons, what did I just recently, oh, I only put it out, I only put the video out flipping yesterday, it might be in my, um, it might be in my planner, sorry, I'm just having a quick look through my planner to see what I recently posted, oh, I was working on the virtual tag swap, I shared that video, I shared the virtual tag swap video on that, oh, no, that was on Monday, but I didn't film it that day, I filmed it the week before the magazine harvest video that's what I filmed this day it was it was harvesting from magazines so that's good to know do I have anything here that I would like to add that could work for my day again I don't have a lot of info about what happened this day so I can really try and fill it up with some other bits uh, so I'm looking through my capsule here 
I actually think I'm going to use this somewhere soon because I have some letting go that I have been trying to do. Part of the anxiety um, and the struggle bussing. This, would this look good with this? Oh, it's a bit not right. Um, but I know that I want to kind of do some, maybe some more private journaling about this. So maybe I want to put one of these envelopes. I've got two different envelopes in here that I could use. Um, but I might be able to put an envelope in that I can then tuck. Does this fit in there? It does. It does. So we could go with this one, I think. Um, and then we might just put a little bit of that private journaling into the envelope um, so that I can just do a bit of my processed writing that, I, that can just maybe go in there. I'm wondering about putting it this way. I feel like it's going to be easier for me to get it in and out if I have it this way. Could be wrong. Um, no, I think I will put it in this way, actually, because then if this little flaps up, it's not going to get crumpled. Um, was this one of the days? The 14th, was that one of the days that I had written about on my phone? Nope. That's fine. Let's see, do I have any photos or anything here in my... Oh, I was sitting outside this day. I sat outside at lunchtime because it was a nice day. That This is literally the information I have about this day. And then we had games night. So there was something. Okay, we've got some info. Not a lot, though. Um, so, having a think about what I want to add. I'm just looking through some like little game card things that I've got behind me and trying to see now which day I've got this little egg thing this was sent to be in happy mail and it is so cute and I want to include that because um that day and no no I think it was this day James made me egg on toast for breakfast in bed he never makes me breakfast in bed so it was like a real thing um so I'm wondering about maybe including this little egg thing on the page and being able to document that because I'm pretty sure it was actually this day yeah it was this day it was okay good okay good we're getting somewhere now we're figuring out what happened in my day enough that I can decorate my page I am looking for some paper to pop in the background this was also something I've been wanting to use I got this cute little notepad there's another section to it which must have fallen off um which I would have imagined would have been in here too, but I'm not seeing it jumping out at me, so I'm going to have to hunt around and find it. But um, this cute notepad, I bought this on holiday a little while ago, Happy Time and Dream. It's so cute. I got it in an op shop, um, and I just think it would make a cute little writing space somewhere. I'm thinking about having, again, I don't have much to say on this day. Do I want happy time or do I want, um, oh look, I hadn't even seen that someone had, oh actually I won't, I won't actually show you that because it's got somebody's address on there. I had not even noticed that before. I think I'm going to put this little dream hedgehog on my page. I think that's so cute. That is so interesting because I picked up this notepad in Waimati, which is a long way from Christchurch. I mean like a couple of hours. And the address on the back of here is from Christchurch, not from Waimati. So, kind of interesting. Probably not to you, but a little bit to me. Um, I'm going to glue these down like this, I think. I like this sort of layout. This is going to be a flip, and then I'm going to have some more writing space under here. So, I'm going to choose out some paper that I want to glue down as my writing space. Uh, what are you? You would work. Just a nice creamy piece of paper. I'll rip that in half. So that, I'm just going to use a ruler. So we've got two pieces there. This one's going to go on like that. Just going to get glued down on the page like this. And then this is going to be like a tip-in part that goes over the top. Okay, and then I think I'm going to maybe add a little bit of like fun paper. Um, like maybe like this. It's not, I mean, not overly different to book page. But I just feel like I could add maybe some of my scraps. Something scrappy underneath there. I've got this purple. Would that look good? I'm just looking in my little scrap paper bin beside me at what I've got on hand. I've got this P 
piece here. I think this might actually be sticker paper. Okay, we're going to go with this one because it's not going to be hard to glue. Because <laughs> it's just sticker paper. So I'm going to just stick that straight on. This one I think was maybe from, was this from a Your Creative Studio unboxing maybe? Uh, they sent me a box a while ago and I, I they often have like sticker paper like this sort of thing in it. It could be from them. It might not be though. Uh, but that can just be my base layer. Then I'm going to have my envelope on top. It's got some Illuminati looking thing on there. Um, then this and then my little egg. And then in there I'm going to write do my private writing. And then maybe this will go here or here. But I'm liking this little layer. And I'm liking just using some interesting paper in behind. I have a wee more sip of my coffee. Wee more. That's nothing. Okay, I'm going to just glue this down. It's got a bit damaged, so I don't mind if I just glue that straight down. I'm not missing out on anything. I actually might use double-sided tape, I think. I feel like that might be my easiest option here. How long have I been filming for? I bet it's been ages. I bet it's been ages and we've barely achieved anything. Let me check. Oh, 35 minutes is not as long as I thought it could have been. I thought it could have been like 50 minutes at this stage. So I've still got a bit of time that I can keep this going. We might get both of these two pages kind of pulled together. And then I've got two more pages that I can finally get the writing done on. And I am being going to be very easy on myself and allow myself not to write all that much. I mean, quite honestly, I can't write all that much because I have no notes. I don't even know what happened in the day. So... That's going to go there, and then we're going to put our little notepad on here like this. I think that looks super cute. And our little egg is going to get glued down on here. I'm going to just use tacky glue for this one, I think. Oh my word, it's clogged again. How on the, on the earth are you getting so cloggy? That was much easier to push through than the first time, though, thankfully. Let's see if we can get that glued. There we go. Think I'm gonna need to go and find some of these little bottles and get some new ones because I'm really struggling with the ones I've got currently. They're so good, but this thing broke and so now that's clogging. And then on my other one, the this whole rubber part. Wait, this was the old. This is actually the old bottle. I just changed out this little cover. I just need to buy some new covers maybe for them. I don't know how you go about finding them, but. That's what I need to do. Okay, that little egg's glued on. Let's just use the tacky glue on this as well because it's out and it's easy. Just trying to get some glue all around that. There we go. And then I don't know exactly what I'm going to write about on this little notepad, but... I'm sure I'll come up with something to say. And then this, I'm kind of thinking, might go up here. Just fill in that space up the top. I don't know. Actually, maybe I'm not sure about that. But I've put glue on it, so I kind of need to do something with it now, don't I? So where would I like to put this? Maybe even, no. I'm wondering if I wanted it under here. Well, I guess I could always just, I'm going to put it there. I'm going to glue it onto this backing paper that I have not yet glued down to the page. So let's get that glued on. And then we'll tip this part in, which is just lovely. Jen, you make beautiful postcards. Um, Jen, these are for Jen's Patreon. Um, I believe she makes them. They are lovely. Um, I'll have her linked in the description. Her and Alison, because Alison's the one doing the punches um, challenge for this month the item of the month challenge i just love her item of the month challenge it's so good it's really helping me push myself it's funny because i think we actually both had a really similar idea about doing this and i think at a really similar time i'm not sure alice and i've been meaning to ask you when you had your idea for this item of the month challenge because i know you told me that it was sometime last year but you only got around to doing it later this year um but i found my note recently about when I had started thinking about it because I'd made a note in my phone about it I would be so interested to know if you can remember when you thought about it because how funny would it be if it was like at the same time um so Alison if you're watching this let me know I've got to I'll try and remember to message you and ask you about it 
um, because I, I found that note of when I had started thinking about it in my phone and I thought, oh, I wonder if it was at the same time. I need to have a freshen up of this um, every so often, every month, normally mid-month, which is around about now because it's the 17th. So normally about mid-month, I will swap out the washies in my tin for some of my other washies that are kind of harder to access. Uh, and I just need a refresh. Like this, half of them are gone. I don't even know what's happened. I must have accidentally put them away again. Um, because it's almost, you know, it's definitely not like a full tin anymore. So I don't know. I might use this one. These ones are pretty envelopes of like Happy Mail, and I think that could be nice with the Happy Mail postcard. So we'll do that. I haven't used this tape very much recently. I used to use it all the time back when I was a pen pal girly. Um and I haven't in ages, but I'm starting to get back into the pen paling thing. I've actually got myself a couple of pen pals recently, which I'm really, really excited about. That is going to be just a bit too wide, so we need to push that further in. Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm going to try and try the pen paling thing again, which is going to be fun. I am not a very good pen pal, and yeah, I'm not the best at it. I, I forget <laughs> about it too much. Um got a half written letter to one of my friends that I have been half written I've had half written since flipping I don't know March I, it was March it was early March I started writing a letter still haven't written it all and posted it to my friend uh so I'm not a great pen pal but I'm, I'm gonna try so we've got that in there that's so pretty genius just so lovely um so that's Painty Hands Art, in case I wasn't clear. I just said Jen Hall, I think. But it's Painty Hands Art, if you look her up on um, Instagram. She's great. Now I need to punch something on here. Oh, I meant, no, I'm not counting that. Counting that as this side, I can't count it as both sides. That feels very cheaty. Um, what would I like to punch? I have been using a lot of corner rounder punches. <laughs> as a very easy way to do it. I just, oh, it's really hard. Um, when you've got such limited punches and now I need to, I need to give it a go and like try and do some like punch art stuff because I know there are amazing ways to use punches that could be so cool. So I need to try that out. Um, at some stage I have all intentions to just watch me get to the end of the month, the punch, punch challenge to be over and me not to have done it. I'm looking at this. It's a cute purple that kind of matches with this, kind of matches with this. I'm wondering if I want to punch something out. Um, I'm actually going to punch out some circles, I think. Let's do that. One, two, I don't know what I'm doing with this. I'm just completely winging it. But I'm thinking of maybe just like adding a couple of circles like that. I don't know, that looks fine. That looks fine. Let's do that. I'm just going to give this one a little trim. My punches are all quite old and all quite dull, so... It's not punching the best, but if I just give that a little trim up. Now let's glue them on. We're adding some punches. It's being a little decorative. This is not something I would normally do, so that's exactly the purpose of this, is to just push myself to try out using my supplies differently um, and just using them at all, because to be fair, I don't use my punches all that often. So it's been quite good, really, having them in my head to use this month, you know? Um like that and then we'll put the other one at the bottom and I think that's kind of cute kind of fun I would actually really love I'm almost thinking and this is ridiculous to think uh, it would depend on the on the thing but I'm kind of wondering if I'm like hey if I get to the end of this punch month and I'm successful in it I can buy myself a punch I feel like that's a really fun, <laughs> fun idea. So I'm like, oh, maybe I could do that with every challenge. Maybe whenever she does that, I'm like, okay, if I finish the month of it, I can buy myself another one. It's absolutely ridiculous, but it's really in my head because I haven't got very many punches and I would love a new punch, but I can't, I feel like I can't justify it. Uh, but maybe if it's like a celebratory thing for myself, yay, you did punch month, you can buy a punch. <laughs> And I'm going to keep this because I might be able to use this punched out space at another time. I love, I love the, like, what's it called? The reverse of it? Like the negatives, the negative, I guess, um, of it. I love using that in places as well. So I am happy with how that's looking. 
we've got our two pages done. We've used our punched border here, added some punches on here. So that's cool. Um, this day, do I have much to say about this day? How long have we been going? Let me just have a quick check again. 44 minutes. If I'm really fast, we might be able to get this done within an hour. So this was the 15th. Now I think I'd written a few notes in that little notebook maybe about the 15th so let's see if I can dig around and find where I put my notebook here it is oh yes I had a few James made me an egg on toast again for breakfast this day I filmed a um video in working in my her book making some ephemera which you guys will have seen by now um this day um having quite another quite a bad day emotional I've written crying 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 because I just cried all day this day it was pretty yucky uh and I made some painty papers I did I got my jelly plate back out uh because I wanted I want to send some to my patrons uh so I did that that was good oh look at this one I'm I just pull I'm pulling some out to think oh I could add it as a background somewhere like how pretty is that I love that actually and then oh I can tell by this picture as well I got my new book in the mail that I had ordered for myself I ate some chocolate I actually have that packaging I had planned to put in my journal so I might need to whip out and grab that I was playing my switch and I was having a cup of tea in bed it was a very relaxed night if I am remembering correctly let me open up my planner as well and see if there's anything else I made a reel um oh and I had a nice shower this evening I um a nice hot shower and wash my hair. So I've got some info there. I've got some info. Do I remember what I made for dinner that night? I think, was this the night? No, that was the night before. Oh, I didn't put anything on here about games night. I mean, I guess I still can. It's not like I haven't written it yet. Um, but what did I make this night for dinner? I think this might have been the night we had like a beef and broccoli stir fry, actually. Okay, got some things. Oh, and which day did we finish? We finished watching Kim's Convenience on Monday. We've been watching that for ages. And then we started watching Sweet Tooth Season 2 on the 14th. So I need to write these things down because they're coming back to me and I want to document these things. Uh, but we finished watching the first episode of Season 2 this night of Sweet Tooth. So I can document that. Uh, I'm thinking about adding some of this in because it is gloriously beautiful. I love the colours on this. So And they're bright and happy, which was not not my mood from this day but sometimes in our journal we can pretend that we were happier than we were uh, I won't pretend I will absolutely write genuinely about my feelings from the day because I do believe that is important but it doesn't mean that I have to make my spread look super depressing just because I wasn't feeling good um and then hang on I'm just going to whip out and get the packaging of the chocolate because I can add that in here I'll be back in a moment Okay, here's the chocolate packaging, and also I remembered that I'd had a cup of tea, and I had this little tea tag from my cup of tea. So I can add that in as well. That'll make a nice little addition to my page. Okay, so I've got to decide how I want to add this. I'm going to cut this down. I'm going to probably add this as like a big flippity flap sort of a thing. This was super delicious, by the way, and I ate so much of it. Um, so good. So I'll just cut this down. These are the very thin blocks of chocolate, like it's like 100 grams, which is still, yes, a lot of chocolate, but um, it's not like a regular sized block of chocolate, but I ate a lot of it, and it was amazing. James bought me this for Mother's Day, which was really sweet of him. It was actually for Bereaved Mother's Day he got this for me, which is the Sunday before regular Mother's Day is Bereaved Mother's Day. I think I'm going to use my corner rounder on this and just sort of give the corners a bit of, I don't know, it just makes it look a bit more finished, a bit less like chunky packaging. I don't know, to me that just sort of gives it a bit of a finished and deliberate feel. And I think this has got some good writing space on the back, so that could just become a writing spot. Because this is not going to be very writable, because this is acrylic paint. I think I'm going to figure out now, where do I want to fold this? Because I'm going to cut, so I need to line that up. 
and then I need to fold it in here like this like this and then I'm gonna cut it on that line and when I say cut I mean I'm gonna tear it on that line and look at that pretty scrap I've still got. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, and then this is going to take up that whole page with all of its beautifulness. It is so intensely colourful and gorgeous. I'm actually going to just trim a wee sliver off of it because it's a little, little bit too tall. It's just making me slightly uncomfortable with how tall it is. I actually may need to do a sliver off of the edge too just I just think I've maybe given it myself a little bit more than I need so we're going to just take a touch more off the side and that should be good as gold now I imagine to fit on there it's still quite large but it's fine and that's beautiful gosh it's so pretty I think I want it this way I don't know why but that is the way I want it let's glue that on and again like I said I'm not going to be able to write on this so I might just stick my photos down. I'm thinking about adding that little flippity flippity part over the top of it. It's just like a layer and it gives me a little bit more space to write on there. Um, I'm hoping I'm not bashing you around too much with my ferocious gluing. Uh, this is the way up I wanted it. Like that. Like that. There we go. Wonderful. Wonderful. I'm going to have a sip of my coffee. All right. So we've got this, which I think I'm going to add on the side like that. And then that can flip out. I think that looks very cool. We've got these adorable photos of Freya on her horse ride, which I think I might glue down on here like this. I like that. Okay. I'm going to do that. I really like it kind of layered in between where it meets the pink and the yellow. I don't know. I just like how that looks. So I'm going to go with it. And then I'm going to need some writing paper probably put down on that side so that I've got somewhere to do my writing. I've got a clear space. There we go. Glue on. Stick it down. She had such a good time on her little horse horse ride oh she's so sweet she was telling me all about it yesterday telling me that her horse was called pebbles and um that it did a pig jump while she was riding her and she didn't even fall off and she held on and she bumped forward but she didn't even cry even though she got a fright so she was telling me about how brave she was she's amazing amazing little horse riding girl my gosh she's so big um, so I'm wondering how I'm going to take this down. It's going to have to be over a bit because I don't want it to wrap around. It needs to stay on this side. I'm wondering about this like really black and white tape or this floral black. I think I want the floral black and white actually. This one's calling my name for this project here. I just think it will look really like graphic and interesting with the really colorful paper behind it. So we're going to pop it on about like that. And then tape that down on there. That's looking good. And then we'll put some on this side too because it's will help keep it really stuck. This is not the stickiest tape. It's okay, but it's not the stickiest. Here we go. I like that. And I kind of want to do a bit of a black border around these photos to just sort of pop them up a little bit off. Of, I hope I'm in frame guys so sorry if I keep pulling my book down towards me a little bit of a like a doodly black frame just to help again yeah just to pull it out off of the page a wee bit like this yeah this was Freya's third birthday present was getting to go on a horse ride she had such a good time okay that looks good I like that and then we're going to put some writing paper down here we could use the other half of the piece we used over on the other page um like that maybe yeah okay that'll work I'm gonna just 
trim it down a wee bit. I don't want it to be quite as long, so I'm just giving it a wee trim. Like this. And then we'll glue that on. All right. I don't know why I flipped it over. It's the exact same both sides, so it doesn't really matter which side I put the glue on. There we go. I think after I finish this video, I'm going to take my notebook. I'm going to go have lunch because it's getting close to lunchtime now. I'm going to go have my lunch and I'm going to take my notebook with me. And I'm going to write out all of the notes from all of the past days into my notebook. So everything I can think of, I'm going to go through and do like a big thinking session and try and get everything thought of so that I can... Uh, write it all down in my notebook and then I've got that to get my writing done and I kind of want to add this on here with like the tab sticking out of the book a little bit I quite like that idea I think call me crazy but I want to round the corners on my photo I don't think I've ever done that but it's just I don't know it's just calling to me and it won't match the other photo of Freya on the horses because I didn't round those corners but I'm fine with that I don't know I just I just think I want the corners round. It kind of makes my photo a little interesting. I like that. Maybe I'll round the corners on my photos more often. Um, I don't think I need the tacky glue. I could probably just go with glue stick to glue that down. I'm off camera. Sorry, guys. Um, and I really actually could give that corner. It's very thin paper that this is. I mean, it's not thin paper. It's okay. Uh, but it's not cardstock that I print out my photos on. It's just copy paper so it is it didn't cut that nicely so I've just trimmed the corners a little bit more with my scissors um but I think that actually looks very cute with the rounded corners and then this is going to go down here and I think I'm just going to staple that on like that I'm going to give it two staples <clears throat> which is going to annoy me on this side but it's fine uh but there we go we've got our cute little page done there look at that isn't that quite cute I like that and then I'll do all my writing kind of here and then maybe I'll write about Freya's horse riding or something on the back of that chocolate packaging. That is looking really good. Look, we got three pages done. This page is definitely my least favourite. It wasn't exciting me but you know what? The first pancake's always a flop, isn't it? So when you first start journaling and you've got multiple pages to do, I often find they get better as you go along you get more in the flow of things. I like this page. I think this will look great once the writing is done. And quite often I will do this. I'll write and then I'll come back and I'll kind of maybe like add in any extra things that I found. Or that like I'll finish the writing. I'll be like, oh, there's a kind of a space there. I might want to put something else in there. Um, so things like that might happen. But I really love the colours on this page. Again, it's just going to be a pretty simple page really. But I think it's going to look good. Um, and we used the corner rounder punch on this page. We punched out those circles for this page. And we punched out this little edge thing on this page. Which I can imagine will get so damaged. But that is how we are looking. Like, look how chunky it is, man. Oh my gosh, it's getting so fat. Um, but it's coming along well. And I'm loving having tabs on my journaling again. I hadn't done that in a while. And I'm really loving having tabs. So must remember that for myself. That tabs make me happy. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this wee process of putting some pages together in my journal. I am going to go and write all my notes out and have some lunch. I hope that you're doing well and I will see you guys again very soon for my next video. Bye friends.